In today's episode, we are going to try to paint an African portrait of a Himba girl using watercolors. Oh! 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 He needs some milk! But before we get into that spicy video, I want to thank you for dropping a like and supporting my previous video. Much love to you. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Atunzi. You can support the channel by hitting that subscribe button below. So I did the painting for this video on an AO textured canvas. That is 849 millimeters by 1189 millimeters with an analogous color scheme and watercolor brushes. You can buy the painting in this video by visiting my website Atunzi Shop by using the link below or contacting me on my IG page Atunzi. I chose to use Krita even though I have a Photoshop license. But unfortunately, my PC's graphics are too low, Bruh. so I can't use all the features. So I took a huge L right there. But please support my work so I can get a better PC so I can make even crazier art. Now let's see how the feels. People often confuse the Himba with the Herero. Well, what comes to your mind when you hear the words of a Himba? No, 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 no. You see, all those sounds and words you heard are mostly said by the Herero people. Like me, I'm Herero. I'm a Herero. Um, I'm a <laughs> Okay, we know both love cattle. That's facts. But the Ovahimba? They are way different from Herreros and they have a totally different dialect. Let me explain. This is a poor. This is where you can find most of the Ovahimba people. Although by now, you'll meet them in other places in Namibia. You know how it is. They too have to go out and get bread just like every one of us. Now, I'll give you 5 seconds to take a look at this painting and guess if this is a girl or a boy. 5 seconds. Go. Type it in the comments right now. If you type girl in the comments, Okuhepa. It's a girl. You are so smart. Like, no kidding, guys. I worked on this painting for four hours, thinking the entire time that this was a boy. Well, big high five if you guessed girl. And shout out to Diego for pointing out this to me. You see this piece of ornament around her neck? Yeah, that one. That's how you know she's a girl. It's called Ohumba. Which is a symbol of fertility among the Ovahimba people. And it is easily recognizable because of its large shell right here. Guys, guys, this necklace is so popular, according to ApacheRose.com, that some designers have literally based their entire collections, entire collections on it. Bruh. Talk about copying on another level. Mm. 
if you take a look at my past work, you'll see that I do a lot of African art paintings. I did this one and this one. Oh, and this one too. Really, growing up in a culturally diverse country has inspired me a lot on my journey. Of course, some else were taken. No problem. It happens to the best of us. I love African art. And in this five part series, I want to make more African art paintings. So please tell me which tribe should I paint next in the comments. The Maasai of Kenya, the Sand People, Zulu, Nama, Toza, Herero, Oshivambo. Mention your tribe in the comments right now. Finally, I'm done with my painting. And here is the final piece. I'm really happy about this painting and I feel it's spot on. Tell me in the comments what you think about it. And thank you for watching. Hey.